This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is the OnGuard Boxer Motorcycle Disc Brake Lock. This is the model 8046, which is the beefiest of OnGuard's disc brake locks, and it features a massive 16.8 millimeter shackle. This lock comes with a carrying case, an orange reminder cable that you're supposed to run from your lock to the handlebar to make sure you don't forget that you have your bike locked up, and five keys, one of which has an LED light on it. If we look carefully at the keys, we can see that the lock is of an unusual design. This features eight sliders, which in turn control two sidebars, one on either side of the lock. So what we're gonna do today is see just how hard that lock is to pick into, and then I'll take it apart as much as I can non-destructively. I've actually already started the process by removing the stubborn plastic end caps that you would normally find on either side of this lock. But before we start picking, I wanted to show you the unusual mechanism that OnGuard has for securing the shackle in place. Now what we're accustomed to seeing are cutouts on the inside of each end of the shackle for interfacing with the locking mechanism. Instead, what we have here are cutouts on the front and the back of each side. So we have twice as many cutouts and of course twice as many locking paws to interface with them. And if we can look at it as I operate the mechanism, you can see those two bars sliding into place. Now, I don't see it as superior to what you would normally find, but assuming they executed it correctly, I would see this as just as good, and it's one of OnGuard's selling points for this lock. I think they call it the X4 mechanism. In any case, let's put all this aside and get to picking. <clears throat> the core is buried pretty deeply inside of this lock, so I'm using a long Z-bar to reach through this spring-loaded shutter and tension the core. Okay, I think I've got that in place. Now I'm gonna use a normal 15 thousandths thick pick to reach in sideways and then rotate it to lift up on each of the sliders. I'm gonna start on the right side here. The first is loose. Little click out of the second, some movement on the core. Click on the third, little more movement on the core. Back to the beginning. One, two, three, four. I'm not getting anything else on that side, so let's move to the left side. Hmm. Nothing on the first slider, nothing on the second, nothing on third or fourth. Let me go through there one more time and then I'll check the the right side again, maybe I missed something. One, two, okay, nice click out of three, nothing on four. One, click out of two, nothing on three or four. Click out of one and we opened it up. Okay, so as you can see, not a terribly difficult lock to open, at least once you know how to, to work on that core. Okay, let's see what we can do to take this apart so you can see what's underneath all of this plastic here. I'm removing the screws that are buried under each of the end caps. We have, I don't know what kind of cast metal this is, I'm gonna assume zinc for now. Okay, now if we give this a good push, we should be able to get this out of the plastic. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so a lot of plastic, not so much metal underneath though. Let me unlock this. And we can put this back together. You can see a couple unusual things. First of all, the lock is pretty darn small once you look at it without this large plastic cover on it. 
The second unusual thing is that we have the 16.8 millimeter thickness on most of the shackle, but we have something considerably thinner where it enters into the lock body. Now, a lot of other locks do do that. I know all of Kryptonite's larger products do. However, they don't move down to the smaller diameter until you're actually inside of the lock body here. On the on guard, you have that transition before you go into the lock body. So that's something that I don't necessarily see as a positive feature. Other than that, it's a, it appears to be at least a relatively competent design. It is not as thick as comparable pot products from Kryptonite, but we do have a, I'd say about one eighth inch of steel, at least on the ends. I did check for hardness and this black portion is hardened. However, this piece here is not hardened. So I'm not sure how to evaluate this thing. I'm always disappointed to see something pretty cheap hiding under all the gingerbread, but it does appear to be a relatively competent lock, just not something that's quite as good as you might think by looking at the massive size. So that's all I have for you today on this On Guard Boxer motorcycle disc brake lock. It's the model 8046. If you do have any questions or comments about it, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.